Hi, good everybody. Good. Hello everybody, it's me, Dr. Carla Tadek, and you've tuned in to another episode of my fantastic world of cysts and lipomas live stream. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I specialize in the removal of cysts and lipomas, which I'm sure you already know that. So in today's live stream, I've got four amazing videos, four of my favorite videos to showcase um, cysts in different parts of the body at different stages of development. So it's a kind of a bit of entertainment, a bit of education. So I hope you enjoy it. Remember, we're doing also a live interaction as well. So um, I'll be watching the videos, you'll be commenting. So we'll be able to talk to each other and, and, and sort of feed off and ask, ask me any question you like about either the video or any medical topic, really. It's an open discussion. Uh, we're doing this every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. 9.30 Greenwich Mean Time, and remember, on the Friday, we're running the Medical Mysteries Tour. That's right, where we're discussing uh, medical mysteries. So if you've got any topics you want to delve deeper into, then let us know. So welcome, hope everybody's well. With no further ado, I wanted to showcase some of the videos. So um, we get cysts in a lot of locations. So what we're going to show today is the the four or three videos that I've got in the, in the live stream and we're going to discuss those live and then we're going to go over to the premiere where we've got a totally brand new unseen footage and if you've been on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter you'll know it's an ear cyst, an absolutely huge ear cyst and if you want to see me struggle removing a ear cyst sack then that's the video to watch because it's a real challenge. One, it's right at the back of the earlobe and I've got a kind of you know, do a bit of gymnastics to get behind it and let the camera uh, get there as well. So that's a lot of fun, a lot of content, a lot of sac removal, real challenge. So let's do that a little bit in a little short while. First of all, let's go to our first video. So what I want to do is show this one here. It's on the face, it's on the brow. And what we're doing is trying to drain it because at this stage, the cyst has actually become infected. Now, I did want to showcase a host of different um, cysts, all that have been infected, but I, I looked at the footage and I felt that maybe we have a selection and that would be a much better um, option than just having that single single shot. So in this, this chap, he's clearly had this cyst for some time, unsure exactly the duration, but what we do need to do is drain it because at this point in the sack, as you know, has dissolved, and what's left inside is this quagmire, this abscess of septic fluid, and no amount of antibiotic is gonna get under that and get it rid of it. So we need to drain it, because you think about a reservoir as being a lake, and the blood vessels will really just lap up on the shores of that lake. And so if we're giving antibiotics that are working through the bloodstream, it's gonna be very, very unlikely that they're gonna reach that center of that pit. So in these kind of cases, you know, a course of antibiotics may buy you a little bit of time, but ultimately what you need to do is drain it, get that infection out and then give it the antibiotics and then hopefully the body will overcome that infection and heal the process. So, you know, we put some local anesthetic, but realistically the acidity changes uh, in the skin following the infection and the lidocaine doesn't tend to work as well. So you may notice that those with an infected cyst may have a little bit of grimace in their face because the anesthetic doesn't seem to be working as well as it should. So there we go, the first injection goes in. The first thing we notice is the blood. When you have an infected cyst, obviously the body is doing its, its damn best to try and get rid of it. And that means getting a lot of um, a blood supply into it. And so typically what you'll find with an infection like this is that the blood supply is very, very uh, intense, it's increased and that causes a lot of bleeding when the first needle goes in. So there we go, so that's the needle going in there. Um, let's have a look. You gotta, you gotta dap it away, get rid of some of that blood, because you wanna keep that surgical field nice and clear, you wanna see where you're going, uh, and operate in a nice, clean, effective manner. Let's have a look, Who's got, who do we have in the house? Let's say hello to some people. I know we've got a lot of people. How many do we have? 600 people. How many likes do we have? I don't know, let's have a look. Okay, so like I said, three, four videos in the live stream, and then we're going to cut to the premiere, and uh, it's a great cyst after that, so stay tuned. You've got me for about an hour, so I hope you've cleared your diaries on this Sunday evening or Sunday afternoon, because we've got a great show on for you tonight. Remember, if you enjoyed the uh, mystery, uh, mystery chat, mystery medical mysteries, 
then that's going to be happening every uh, Friday at the same time, 9.30 Greenwich Mean Time with Mr. Ahmed. He's an expert, a real expert, real pleasure to have him on board. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, then check it out on uh, our YouTube channel. Okay, so we've made the first incision. I have to be very, very delicate here. One, because it's on the face, so invariably a scar is not what we want, but this guy's cyst is right on his eye. A complication could be that you may suffer from um, like a, a cellulitis that affects the entire eye and the whole thing blows up. We get this periorbital cellulitis. It can be a clinical emergency and, and may need hospitalization with intravenous antibiotics. We're not there yet. We're not here in this position, but there's certainly a lot of pus. Um, you can you know that like when you have a nasty cough, if you've had any chest infections or a pneumonia and you're hacking out this horrible phlegm, it will look like this kind of color because that's the eosinophils, that's the, the, nat the natural immune system, the cells that fight infection sort of in, in the cyst with the sebum and it turns all green and mucky. Even, even the cyst is almost a little tinge of green. I, I think you'd agree with me there. And I think it's fair to say at this stage, any hope of getting the sack out intact is near to zero. So there's always a high risk of reoccurrence in these situations. So I always tell patients that if you've, if you've got an infected sack and it's broken down, I always give them the balloon analogy. If you haven't heard the balloon analogy, I'll say it to you again. A cyst is like a rubber balloon full of foam. You blow it up, you fill it up with foam. And when it's not infected, you can take that balloon out whole. But once it gets infected, that's like taking a pin to the rubber and the whole thing disintegrates and the rubber goes everywhere and the foam goes everywhere. And there's no chance that you're going to be able to retrieve every little piece of rubber. That, in that analogy, the rubber is obviously the cyst. So there we go. Let's have a look at that. Yeah. I mean, look, you can see me sort of trying to salvage some of that sack, but uh, it's not it's not going to happen. Remember, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Would love to find out where you're from, who you are. So put it in the chat box, which is there. I can never get it right. Put in the chat box uh, if you're new to the channel. Where where in the world are you from? Let me know. Let's scroll through. Let's have, let's say hello to hello. So Luna, how are you doing? Marsha, Caroline, Tom, Tom, uh, Donna, Adams. Sid G, Marsha Thompson, Caroline Tom Tom, Maria Rock, Bridget Schumacher, Sula Lally, Sh Sherry S, Marion, Angela McQueen. Welcome to all of you viewing today. Awesome to have such a wonderful group today. Wow, look at that sis. And look, the moment it is drained, his his swelling has kind of gone back to normal. His face kind of looks less angry. I think you'd all agree that it looks less red, it looks less tense. And that was just the discharge of that. And there wasn't even a huge amount there. And that's, that's always something I, I, I note to patients that when a cyst is on the face, it doesn't have to be very big for it to be very noticeable. The face doesn't have any fat unlike the rest of our body and there's very little in terms of muscle. So any distortion on that surface really gets blown up, really gets magnified because the way the light plays on the skin and the shadowing just makes it all much more prominent. I mean, that cyst, if it was on your back, you, you may not actually notice it. You may not even come to the doctors, but because it's right there on the eye, it had about a volume of what? Probably like a couple of mil, I would say, no more than that. So, I don't typically wash out and irrigate, but in this case, I thought we should because the sack is not, you're not able to get hold of the sack. So definitely get that washed out. Um, saves us a, a lot, of, lot of effort. Um, and, and he did really well. He did really well. The scar healed up nicely. A lot of people say, you know, infected cysts, you don't close them. Actually, I tend now to close them. Historically, I've tended to go for the packing, you know, the Aquacel ribbon and, and pack it every couple of days. But that took weeks and weeks. And actually, I, I found out that if you just kind of curate the inside and you get rid of it, then it actually works really, really well. So in this case, we did very, very good. So let's have a look at that. All finishing up nicely. Yeah, look, so there's a little bit of sack. We're trying to get rid of that. Just 
pluck that off. Remember, if you're new, hit like. If you like it, hit like. We've got three or four of these videos to go through. We've got a marathon, so make sure you've got your coffee. We'll have a coffee break in between. Short one, like 10, 15 seconds. But remember, the channel really gets noticed if you help by pressing like, the more you comment, the more you share. And that's how we're gonna you know, get our message uh, across so much louder. So it's all about your viewer interaction. Gosh, look at that, getting that sack out. It's really quite satisfying to see that, you know, what was, I mean, I don't know if you can remember what it looked like before, but it looked quite hideous and really, really painful. But actually now, now that it's being drained, it looks very, very nice. And uh, the scar is very small. Let's say hello to some people here. Uh, Gail Reynolds, Rhonda Burke, how are you doing? Leslie Saunders, how are you doing from Scotland? Kimberly Harrell from Wisconsin, welcome. Dr. Sarah, our resident orthodontic surgeon, she is in the house as well. If you've got orthodontic questions, dentistry questions, ask her. Ask away in the chat box. That's what it's there for. So there we go. So that is the uh, that's the cyst out and cleaned. That's really fascinating stuff. So I think it does. You know, it's a very small cut, so I wouldn't really put a lot of stitches in there. I think we just put one or one interrupted stitch and you can see here it's quite a small needle you can see the small arc it's probably a five or a six so and judging looking at it, it it does look like a dissolvable stitch as well so looks nice and clean really really nice really happy with that result we've got some really really nasty infected cysts coming up i don't know if you've seen the thumbnail but that is the red hot chili popper um it's a memorable case to me because it was one of the one of the, probably one of the first videos that I, I released, and the result still very proud of it. I mean, the lady was really really happy, and uh, you know, all in all, a very very good result. So that that is that is the the first video. So we'll have a short advert break, and then we'll crack on with the. Welcome, I'm Dr. Carla Zdeck, and you're watching my fantastic world of cysts and lipoma removal. Welcome to Medical Mysteries. Every Friday at 9.30, Greenwich Mean Time. look thank you all for staying on i hope the adverts weren't too consuming they're very short and really it's just to plug the channel so if you if you haven't hit the like button please do i think we've only got 100 likes 100 likes 100 likes 700 people watching hit the likes be more generous so the next clip we've got is a uh, is another little cyst and uh, we'll we'll go and take a look let's see what we've got so this is the guy we've just done so let's close him off and the next one it's also on the face and it's kind of like in the middle of the face. Actually, let's switch the face. Let's go to the ears instead. Because I know we've got okay, an ear later, but this is an ear that I have never ever released. I've two never released this video diameter. on YouTube. Very tense, uh, fluid, uh, I'll tell you why sack. at the end of the clip. This, is, a, this is the first time this has been aired. First. Brand new footage, and it's a, a really amazing cyst. And so this cyst, is actually at the front of the earlobe. Some low um, Very often, they're actually at the back of the, the earlobe, or actually sort of uh, just on the bone behind sting. the ear itself. Okay. This is interesting because it's actually on the front. Um, it's an epidermoid cyst, uh, as usual, and the removal is very, very much the same if it was on the face or the back. 
but I'm really surprised at how large these sacks are before people present. I mean, that is that is a good going size. I mean, that's probably about it's two centimeters. Red. It's like a marble. And inflamed. Uh, and it's very to noticeable too much. on a man, especially because we don't typically have anything in our earlobes. I mean, obviously, men can wear earrings, but this gentleman didn't wear an earring. And obviously, okay. uh, that's it's, work. it is very, very notable. And, and the risk <coughs> is that you can get infected. I often see people come in. How are you feeling? Okay. Yeah, fine. Yeah, fine. I'll put a drape over you. <laughs> Let me know if this is too claustrophobic. No, that's fine. And if I get you to just, again, look towards that wall. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I think we filmed this uh, a few years ago. Are you now, okay there? Yeah. Because, uh, the camera take it actually down. ran out of batteries yes. towards the end of the footage. Don't move half your hair when we take it off. We only got, a, only got the, the pop and the drainage. Just put a little gauze there. At, at the time, I was filming this yeah. and I was thinking, oh, this okay. is fantastic. Yeah. The camera's at the right angle. The cyst is, is, is a really Let's good position. Look. I've done the procedure so really well. I'm really proud of how I've drained and the sack. And then I, and I, and I finished it and I showed the sack to the... Sist out. To, to the, uh, How to are you the feeling? Camera. You okay? Yeah. So the camera okay. person was Great. holding holding the camera. So we've begun. Uh, and I say, um, might feel some tugging and pulling. It's a wrap. But and then they turned to me and said, no actually, pain. We, we ran out of memory halfway through. <laughs> I was just flabbergasted. I said, well, why didn't you tell me halfway through that we ran out of memory? Take off the and top they layer. I said, um, I didn't want, to, didn't want to sort of destroy the, uh, the energy. So we never got off. the full one. But rest assured that what you don't and see you found us from the website like permacist.com uh, i can't remember now. i just did a google search i just, oh, just did a google search a few, a few pages oh, i see so what i really want to do is also, get this let me sack know out my new studio setup i've had to rig up uh, a new little setup we're going to get some pictures up here. Maybe every video that has reached had a this, million. You've uh, had this reoccurrence cyst, haven't you? Discs. That's right, yes. Uh, maybe first, cards. We'll put them up there as well. There's been various ones coming and going. Various forms, yeah. There's quite board. a large one this time last put year. The whiteboard. Which, which ruptured. I've put yeah. one more than my plaque up. Oh, I've had the thousand subscriber plaque. Yeah, you can tell by the way the skin has adhered to the cyst that there's a little bit of fibrous scarring underneath there mm -hmm. but we're now getting the while, while sack separated from the earlobe great let's say hello to some people let's scroll there's down this tense Bernice, ball right you underneath the skin Carolina, Prince so of Zam. Welcome, Prince of confident Zam. that we're going to give you some relief now and get this industry. thing out uh, mm -hmm. uh felicia adams from maryland how are you doing mazab 1970 coco loco Lust, rusty ad how are you doing it. kim have alone josh holden Rhonda, Burke, Mona, Norton, Anna, Gray, Shelley, M, Graham, Marks, Laurie, okay. Wallace, Very Dennis. Tense. Okay. How are you doing? It's drained. Sandra Larden. And now Lisa we can Rosina, Dawn Caster, work in Tracy, and get that cyst out. Oh, here it is. Empty it all out. How are you feeling? You okay? Yeah, absolutely fine. Good. Now, the sack can be quite friable, yeah, so we've got to be gentle on pulling it out. See how thin and delicate that skin is, and you can only feel collagen in between. It's probably the thinnest skin to operate on, I would say, the earlobe. Um, we also, I also do a lot of earlobe refashioning as well. So where people have, you know, it's, it's people have had these kind of like ear, earlobe dilators, and they put those in place, uh, and that's caused a lot of deformity. So we piece that together as well. But ear skin is notoriously thin and very, very friable. Oh, that video's finished. So already it's ran out of energy. So let's crack on. So the middle of the face is where I wanted to go next. But before we do that, should we have a little? Um, no, let's just jump to the ear face. Let's go, let's go, let's have a look. So this is a great big whopping epidermoid right in the middle of someone's uh, someone's eye there. I mean, it's big. It's very, very noticeable. I thought I'd cluster these videos because they're all kind of like the head, 
they are all head and neck surgery. So I thought I'd put them all together. I've just been told that the audio was jammed into the last video, so I'm just correcting that. Sorry about that, guys. My bad, my bad. Hope it hasn't put anybody off. There we go, look at that. But then I said, I mean, look, it's not the best place to operate. I mean, you're right up close to somebody's eye. It's very uncomfortable. Um, and then you kind of just, you know, in terms of personal space, you couldn't get closer, could you? Right up in their face. But this guy did really, really well. And look, part, you know, when, when you do these kind of procedures, yeah, half of it is me doing the surgery and trying to get it right. Let me put myself up here. It's trying to get it right, but also if the patient isn't cooperative or isn't sort of calm, then that just makes the, the job a whole lot harder. But this job kind of, where, where do I, where should I go? I should go up here. Maybe I go down here. This guy was really, really on the point. I think he's a real star for that. Let's put myself over here again. Sorry about that, guys. So while that is going through, let's say some more hellos to the people. Let's see who we've got here. Lisa, Sandra, how are you doing? Uh, Graham Marks, Vicky Fletcher from Illinois. Connie Justice, how are you doing? Joyce Bauer, Judith Burned, Patsy Johnson, Sophie Navaki, Lisa, Haley Cavalier, Patsy Johnson, how are you doing? Martin Usman, Neil Robinson, Cynthia Sparks, Mary Hyder. Denise, how are you doing? Marion, Dawn, Joyce Suggs, Caroline Walker, Graham Mark, Sandy Husak, how are you doing? C Celia Santiago, Kim Barron, Louisa Rosina, Anne Brooks, Tracy A at 51, Sandra Goody, welcome. Caroline Walker, Mazab, 1970, Ed Hask, Sula Lally, welcome. If I pronounce your names wrong or I miss anyone, it's not intentional. It's because it goes so fast. I wonder if we can get, there we go, yeah. Jovi Lopez, Susie Essex, how are you doing? Beverly McFarland from Sarcota in Florida. Dawn, how are you doing? Bernice Gavin, hi, how are you doing? Barbara Clay, Marion, Big Al, Joyce Bauer, Donna Frost, Bridget Schumacher, Caroline Tomtom, Karen Marsland, Caitlin Toth, Leslie Saunders, Russ, the Dawn. Sandra Goody, hi, I'm from Enfield in England again. Where are the lipomas you promised us? You promised us October Fest was going to be a lipoma fest. You're absolutely right. Let me move myself away from here. You're right. I didn't deliver on those lipomas. It's because I discovered streaming. I'm sorry. I'll tell you what, I'll make up for it on Wednesday. I'll dedicate the whole thing to lipomas as long as you promise to watch. Craig Wallace, hello doctor, nice to see you. I remember this video, yeah, good, good, good. Let's, let's scroll right down, let's have a look, who do we have right here? RK, It's Warm in Venice, Sid G, Evie Soup from New Zealand, Gail Vazroski from Northern Carolina, Andrew saying hi, doctor, how do I avoid these? That's a good question, we'll come back to that. Um, Elizabeth Hopkins. Well, I'll tell you, what, we'll go through all these questions. Duplessis from South Africa. Welcome. Kelsey from Florida. Kelly, oh, look, let's get that sack right out. I mean, you've got to get really close. This guy is is calm. He's being a real real star, and that that's what you need really. Michelle Brando says, the best cyst ever 
was the curly-haired person with a giant head cyst that looked like an egg yolk. Remind me which one that was. I'll, I'll, I'll pitch it up in the next video. People saying I don't need to whisper. You're right, I don't need to whisper. It's my show. I can talk as loudly as I want. I get so engrossed in watching the videos that I'm kind of like, I don't want to disturb him. He's operating. I don't want to speak too loudly. He might slip on the scissors, you know? You, you, these videos, you kind of get, because that because the filming is so good and so close, and it's right in the action that you feel you're there. I mean, everybody's watching this. So many people say, Doc, you know, like when that cyst popped, I jumped. You know, that's what it's like, is like sitting right in the action. I've always thought, why not have like some sort of um, 3D or VR, or we can, you can all sit in the room, or we can just have a massive Zoom uh, jamboree. Let me know what you think of that. Let's scroll down. Let's have a look. Hollywood from Cali. How are you doing? Cash Marty from Plymouth in the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom being represented. Okay, so this here is a little a little technique that I use. I get the uh, the hook and I feed it through, and then I hold on to the cyst so I don't lose it, and then I retract it out and then just kind of bluntly dissect the cyst out because obviously you can't just stuff a pair of you know crocodile forceps into his face that would that wouldn't be right so you use the uh, the lasso to give the traction strong enough to lift it off but not too strong to rip it right off you know like a like a cheese wire and so you've got to have a balance between the traction and getting the angle and just removing that what up, Columbus, Ohio, Andrew Moretto, welcome, Donna Faust, how are you doing, Anna Brooks, Brandy, hi, Christina Fisk from Massachusetts, Mariam Una from Paris, Bonsoir, Get Paris, Cheryl Moore from Baltimore, Cheryl Moore from Baltimore, I like that, MD, Baltimore MD, Cheryl Moore, awesome, Linda Arthur from Victoria in Australia, Katie Davidson from Arizona, Massachusetts, Plymouth, I was born. That's Kelsey. How are you doing? Leanne, how are you doing, Leanne? Li Miss Bo Broder says she's late, but she's here. From Ontario, we've got Debbie from Arkansas, Kansas, Arkansas. <laughs> I'm never going to get that right. It's Teresa Hall, Gail Sharp, and uh, Mazab. One thing would be great with these videos if we could see, get an aftershot, as in a month or two later. You know, Mazab, that would be really, really good. It would be great to have the aftershot. But the problem is, a lot of these patients, they're just, they're, they're happy with the result. They don't, they don't tend to come back. <laughs> um, oh, let me just move my, my, my camera out of the way there, because it's in the way. But yeah, you're right, it would be really nice. It would be nice. But also, logistically, very difficult to like link up a video from one week and then two weeks later and we've got the whole back, you know, logistically, it's a bit of a nightmare. We do do it sometimes. If you look at the infected cyst um, on my YouTube channel, there is a before and after. And I think also on the Instagram page, it's got some before and after shots as well. Minnesota, that's Wendy Frank. Big shout out to Wendy Frank from Minnesota. Mrs. Alzat from Texas, Helena Gregory, how are you doing? Margaret Smith from England, how are you doing? Sid G, how are you doing? It's Arkansas. Sid G says Arkansas. Do not say Arkansas. <laughs> I guess it's like when Americans say like, I don't know, when they say like, uh, I don't know what you guys say. You, 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 you guys also say mistakes like me. Um, My mum and I watch your videos. That's Patricia Clinton. Welcome from California. Blessings to you and your mum. Christine Wilson, Dr. Steck. I'm from Georgia. Can we hear the best Southern accent, please? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I can do it. I could do probably like a Southern English accent, but I don't think I could do a Southern American accent. Not without embarrassing myself. How many likes do we have? Wake up, everybody. Stop enjoying it. Hit the like button. Someone feed me in the chat box. How many likes? We've got 1,100 people watching. I expect 1,100 likes, no less. Come on, let me know. Otherwise, we're not going to, I won't release the premiere. 
In fact, I'll stop the streaming right now. You guys are enjoying yourselves far too much. Let me know how many likes you got. Let's continue saying hi. Donna Gala from California. Santa Barbara. Lovely part of the world there, Donna. Gail from North Carolina. Welcome. Christine Wilson, how are you doing? Margaret Smith from England. Yeah, we've done these. Let's, uh, Jane from Captain Cape Breton from, uh, from Canada. Natalie from Ontario. Leslie from South Africa. So many wonderful friends. So this one is coming up to an end. We probably need a water break, don't we? Let's have a... This is going to be our longest live stream, isn't it? We've, we've gone past the 31 minutes. We're going to go through another two videos. If you're bored, let me know. Also, let me know what you thought about the medical mysteries. Who watched it? Who liked it? Who didn't like it? What could be better? How many likes do we have? Does someone... 400 likes. Is that reasonable? 440 likes and we got over a thousand people. Who hasn't liked? I want people to be named and shamed. Let me know in the box if you haven't liked. Luna, what are you saying? New Orleans, doctor. That deep south, <laughs> Dr. K, New Orleans. Okay, is that, is that how it's pronounced? Okay, so that video has come to an end. So why don't we, why don't we take an advert break and then we can come back and see how we get on, yeah? Because otherwise, it's going to be uh, a lot of, a lot of, I'm Dr. Carl Lindsdeck. Welcome to Medical Mysteries. Every Friday. my fantastic world of cysts and lipoma removal. Good evening, New Orleans. I've been told it's pronounced New Orleans. Good evening, New Orleans. This is my deep south accent. <laughs> Good in New Orleans is Dr. K. He's your man with the best pops on the YouTube channel. <laughs> right, enough of that. Right, you guys, stop egging me on. I shouldn't be doing uh, <laughs> Deep South impressions. So let's move on. We've got the Red Hot Chili Popper video coming up. If you like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, you, you may like this next video. It's got nothing to do with them. I just called it Red Hot Chili Poppers uh, because I wanted to. So... Uh, let's uh, let's let's go to the videos. Let's check that out, shall we? Oh, that that's that one going. Let's switch him off, and then let's have a look. Red Hot Chili Poppers. Look at this. Look at this great big cyst. Now, what I remember about this video is thinking this is big. Number one. Number two. It's infected. And number three. It's really infected. Now, before you all clamor on and say, oh, Dawn Caster has donated $2. Thank you so much. That money will go to a lovely charity. Thank you so much, Dawn, for that. I've just That's so cool. Look, it comes up. It says, cool, donated $2. If you enjoy the show, give us, throw us a $2, $2 bob. <laughs> okay, so this, I mean, look at it. It's so pink. Looking at it just makes me quince. It's so painful. Sounds like a New York accent. Ouch. Don't give up your day job, Dr. K. 
at least Bernice loved it, even if you all hated it. Love intermission videos. Yeah, Kim, it's nice, isn't it? It gives everybody a bit of a break. And also means I can have a little bit of a drink. Just water, though. Yeah, the pictures of London you share are your typical day. Yeah, you know those horses? I'm just walking out of the clinic getting my, my morning coffee and there are two officers on, on, on horseback. There's an English red bus and it's all jolly English and it's all very South Kensington. So yeah, those videos I post are literally of my every day to day. And, and if they look like Disney World, it's only governor because it's London after all. Everybody's on horseback. Her Majesty's on horseback, governor. I don't know why I'm talking in a Cockney accent. <laughs> I don't know why I've gone all Cockney. But uh, there we are. Yeah, so if you're on Instagram and you like those, I think I think it was on YouTube, actually, I posted the horses. Often they used to have, used to have like, horses just go past my office in the morning. Just You just hear the, the you know, them, sort of the horses, whatever it's called, canter. In my next life, I'm going to go to med school just to pop sis, says Mary Ross. Why wait for the next life? Do it now. Do it. Okay, here it is. Look, don't tell me off if I don't have the hair clips. Yes, I know it went in her hair. Don't all clamor on and say it's gone in her hair, Doc. I know it did, but like, one, I didn't suspect there was going to be that much. And it, it, it did have a bit of an odor. It had a bit of an odor. things I do for humanity yeah from Belfast there's Gene Bruton how are you doing so G how are you doing Michael you're talking like Michael Caine you know what I have a story about how I once had dinner with Michael Caine I'm not sure if it's if now's the now's the place well if you want to hear it I'll I'll, 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 I'll tell you how I had dinner with Michael Caine once I told you to actually blow the bloody time what am I doing? What am I doing these what am I doing these voiceovers? Stop egging me on. Don't do it. It's just embarrassing for everyone. How many likes do we have? Do we have a hundred yet? From Scotland. Love watching every single bit. That's Susan McLeish. Welcome, Susan. Jennifer Cook, my husband was a Met police copper uh, and landed up very high. Oh wow, that's amazing. Look. It's an honest it's an honest cop governor. It's Jennifer Cook. Uh, Jinko five two one lol. Wish I could have met. Could have got. Could go to school uh, and do this so I can have some nice fun. Why not? Connie Cap. I'm a nurse. You should let me come and work for you. Connie Cap. <laughs> We've got nurses, Connie. I, 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 everybody wants a job. Yes, come, come. Why not? Kimeth, how are you doing? Gibby's wife. Are you able to wake up each morning? Such a beautiful view from your window. Okay, so we're doing that 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 lasso again. Erica, she loves the video. Davinesh Kaminsky says, love watching the YouTube channel. Margaret Brace, can you speak Turkish? I can't speak Turkish. I'm sorry. I cannot speak Turkish. Gibby's wife, how are you doing? Anne Brooks, I love your humor. Watch all your videos from Windsor, Ontario. That's April. How are you doing? KP2010, hi from Florida. Miss P says, at the beginning, makes me feel like getting an MRI. Mm, claustrophobia. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? No, 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 no to lipomas. Esther Bond. It's so amazingly beautiful. Has someone um, not smile with that daily view? Absolutely, yeah. Jackie Robinson from Queensland in Australia. Romeo James says, eating and drinking while watching. Really? I don't think that's wise. I'm not responsible for any disaster that may come about from that combination. It looks painful. Yeah, it does. It does look painful. It is probably painful. However, a lot of these patients are kind of the last stop saloon. You want to you want to sort of it's just just it's just, just literally saying, look, just take this out. It needs to come out. It's infected. It's it's painful. It's malodorous. Love lipomas, anstists, and steatocytomas. I shouldn't have fizzy water. Sorry. 
San Pellegrino. I know people tell me off about that as well. And Ramaka, thumbs up button. Hit that thumbs up button. Awesome. Awesome. Tori, Tori Tata girl thinks I'm very attractive. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. Annette O'Connor from Ireland. Welcome. Kerry Martin. I've got a story about Ireland as well. Maybe for another day. Hi from Germany. That's Regina Kaiser. Oktoberfest is coming. Absolutely. Welcome. Welcome in Deutschland. Marsha Thompson. You're smiling like potassium eating sweet potatoes. Kaka. Love your videos. From Oman. Ali. Welcome, Ali, from Oman. I love Oman. Welcome. Gibby's wife. 100,000. A thousand, a thousand likes. That's brilliant. That's that's amazing. Ron Burke, how are you doing? Um, I don't think that's fizzy water, Doc. <laughs> You're being very silly today. Oh, I wonder if it's not. Uh, KP2010, how are you doing? So remember, after this video, we're going to cut to the premiere. And we're going to show you the video that we were supposed to release at 9.30. It's going to be great. Thank you all so much for watching. You've spent a good hour of your time watching me, talking to you, answering questions, watching some of our videos together, commenting on the comments. Remember, we're doing this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at the same time, 9.30 Greenwich Mean Time. If you're new to the channel, hit the like button, put your comments down below. You've got to hit the notifications button, which is the little bell icon. Otherwise, you won't know when these videos go live. And every Friday at the same time, 9.30 Greenwich Mean Time, me and one of my esteemed colleagues will be discussing medical mysteries. So if you've got any medical, we did allergic to water. So if you want to know about how someone can be allergic to water, then the video is on uh, on my YouTube channel. So that cyst is coming out, isn't it? Look at that. Just put a smell meter in the corner of the screen. That's not a bad idea, actually. Oh, it's 500 likes. Oh, thanks, Kim. <laughs> Luna's going to sleep saying good night. <laughs> I haven't even got to the main video. Should we uh should we finish this off and then just go to the main video? Or should we watch it? You let me know. Vicky, welcome. Welcome. She's finally caught us live. Aurelia says she's very sad. Why? Why are you sad? Sonia, down with COVID. Look, get better. Everyone's uh, struggling with COVID. I think uh the winter months are upon us and it does seem to show some seasonal variation so we've got to stay safe look after each other Rhonda is already excited about the next chat well, we're gonna jazz it up we're gonna maybe we'll bring a guest in if you want to be a guest on the live chat discussion let me know maybe we'll invite some guests to to join me on the couch we've got a couch there we've got some chairs there maybe we'll have some guests in the studio to go through these together do you get as excited as we do when someone comes in with a big cyst to extract? Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, absolutely. Who doesn't? Well, look, that was a marathon. That was probably my longest stream ever, and I couldn't have done it without your support, and it was a lot of support we needed to get through. But remember, we don't do this just for fun. We do it to spread the word, to assist people who have the disfiguring um medical conditions so do share on instagram facebook and twitter spread the word and if you need anything that you've seen on my channel removed then don't con then do contact me at lipomacist.com you can also find me on all those other social media platforms remember we're doing live streaming plus premiere every wednesday friday and sunday that's the serious part at 9 30 greenwich mean time with medical mysteries also airing with an eminent physician
I hope you've all enjoyed today's show. I certainly have. We had a fantastic time. Real great turnout. Thank you all so much for continuing to support me. I uh, can't really do this without you. And so we'll end today's discussion and then move on to the premiere. So please do catch me on the premiere for our next video. Okay. So it's goodbye from me. And I suspect it's going to be goodbye from everybody else. And so until next time, you take care. Lots of love. I forgot to say goodbye. <laughs> they, they cut me off without saying goodbye. Take care, everybody.